So Diamond's elder sister has been beefing with the husband's first wife. You want to know why? I think it's kind of automatic. Co-wives usually beef each other. But here we have more reasons why Diamond Plandam's elder sister could be beefing with the husband's first wife. My name is Juliana. It's the East Africa Social Television. Queen Darlene recently left many women disgusted by a post where she laughed off at her husband's first wife for being incapable of having a child. This is so bad. Why would you laugh at someone who is going through a challenge that is beyond them? Children come from God, really. It's not something that one would love to find themselves in apparently ishihaka who is well known businessman managed to get queen Darlene pregnant just a few months after their wedding yet couldn't get his first wife sabra pregnant despite being married for years this is apparently because sabra has a condition that does not allow her womb to hold in pregnancies for more than just a few weeks. Now, according to one Tanzanian gossip tabloid, this problem has forced both Ishihaka and his first wife to look for help from both modern and native doctors. However, their quest to find a solution to their problem only made their relationship sink even more as Sabra allegedly changed as she focused more on getting a child than taking care of her husband. The tabloid, the tabloid goes on to add that after realizing this was ruining the marriage, Ishihaka allegedly suggested they adopt, but his first wife could not have this. Rumor has it that she became bitter and pushed her husband away to a point of meeting another woman. Well, this is how Darlene then bugged herself, Mr. Ishihaka, who is said to be happier than before. Well, this being a family matter that ended up on social media, rumor has it that their husband refused to defend his first wife from Darlene since he knows who sparked the fight. Unluckily for Swabra, she is said to have a sharp mouth that always left her husband pissed off. And since he now has some peace of mind from Darlene, the fella did not care to intervene. They kept on abusing each other. We cannot confirm this for now, but judging from his selfies as seen on Instagram with Queen Darlene, then this may just have some truth. But what about Queen Darlene if we later find out that that kid you're carrying is not for your hajj? I think there is no reason to laugh at a woman who has failed to conceive. It is sad. They deserve to be encouraged, motivated, instead of laughing at them. But the world is harsh. It is what it is. <laughs> People out here don't care. That's the story, and I want to know your view. Do you think Queen Darlene is doing the right thing by laughing at her co-wife because she cannot give birth? Or do you think she needs prayers? You can leave your comment in the comment section. I am Juliana, reporting for the East Africa Social Television as usual. Do stick around, and please go right ahead and subscribe to the entertainment channel.